Hi everyone, welcome to a new video, it's Moises and today I'm gonna find the best places to buy in the biggest altcoins so we know crypto is popping, we know crypto is going up crypto bull run as I explained in the Wealth Dojo channel I have a video explaining all the reasons what I was expecting for this year in Bitcoin and so far it's playing great however I'm going to find the best, the best places to buy for the best altcoins. I'm going to be analyzing mainly five, which I think are the ones that have the biggest potential and the ones that can be entered with a leverage trade, leverage swing trades, not meme coins, not shit coins, not, not all that. Coins that you can actually analyze and the technical analysis is working. And I'm just going to sit down here like if I was alone and I'm going to walk you with me in my analysis. I'm going to do some commentary, but maybe I'm more quiet than usual. I'm going, to, I'm going to comment when I feel like I need to, but I'm not going to be here talking all the time, you know? It's just for you to see how I analyze it. And I think it's going to be a great video. And of course, I mean, don't take it as signals, but yeah, these are potential places to buy. So stay tuned for that. And... I'm excited for this video. Let's go into it. Let's begin with Bitcoin. Why Bitcoin? Always when you're trading altcoins, you always analyze first Bitcoin. Everything follows Bitcoin. So whatever Bitcoin is doing, all the market is going to follow. However, when Bitcoin is ranging and going to the upside, it's when altcoins start popping because the money flows from Bitcoin to altcoins. But let's get right into analysis. Bitcoin, I already have it done because there's not much to say. I'm going to keep it quick. It took all time high and I mentioned in the Discord, this candle is key. Let's mark it. <clears throat> Where is it? Here. The arrow. Let's make it bigger. So, yeah, I mentioned this candle was key. And I said if we close below it, we'll go to 58k. I had two objectives 58k and 61k, which is the equilibrium of the of this week from this daily candle. That was the one that took all time high. And then we had a massive drop and it's also a four hour rejection block right here. So this is the level that we had this bounce. Four hour rejection block. Let me show you the week, how I do it. You just pull your FIP. There you go. So we bounce from this level. As I mentioned, we close below it, below the key candle, this one, close, retracement into it. On Monday, we touch it exactly. Pretty cool, right? Let's go to the one hour touch it and then we decline like 10% into this level and I'm expecting lower prices however for this week the remaining of the week I don't expect anything it's Thursday tomorrow is Friday and the week is pretty much done so I, ex I will expect the move next week open 
open the wick now choppy range open the wick and then get the move down I will actually tell you my whole prediction so get the move down into the weekly FVG here 58k then close the week, the week around here next month month of April we open form a range take previous month low and previous week low so take the low that we made on March in the coming week that is coming and then send it to all time high once again this is what I'm expecting in Bitcoin and what I'm expecting for all the altcoins so this is very key this is the whole analysis and knowing this now we can look for longs in the major altcoins swing longs and these are positions that we can make easily 40-50% return so obviously if you enter with leverage $100,000 position size you can make up to 50k 40k in this move if you enter in the right moment which is what we're gonna look for now so I call it uh, where it was here in the Bitcoin mm, all this here I explain what I said about the candle this here you have it this candle is key said it once we were here so pretty early but yeah we got the move down and expecting another move down so let's go quick through ethereum then we're gonna do solana abax lycon and rune these are also the altcoins that look belmar who is a source i trust in crypto said that they have potential to go up and i also do just looking at the chart so good altcoins for swings and of course bitcoin ethereum they are good also so let's begin with ethereum let's make the chart big and Interesting monthly candle, we took this high. Touch. This was a high. So no random prices, right? <clears throat> Liquidity. The candle that did the all time high. So here you can also see how it goes straight to the drop and up into the FBG drop so we have 10 days to finish the month and it's reasonable to expect I don't know if we'll form an FBG here but there's not much to say in the monthly we had this range we break out of it, but test it, and move higher. So, obviously, I don't expect to come back in this range. So, let's go to the weekly. So, we're gonna focus on this move up that break out of the range. Here, we move up, break out, back test, move up. Now what can we expect? A retracement to continue higher to all time high. This is reasonable. So first of all I'm gonna look where are we in the chart. 
Why I picked this swing low? Because it's the one that took the low and started the move. You could also argue you will pick this one. The most violent one that broke the high. And here is where we bounce from right now. However, I'm gonna stick to the lower one. Now, what do we see here? Straight, straight away we see this weekly FBG here, which we didn't touch. And then this one right here, which is also in the discount. And you could argue it's also OT from here, right? So it's extra confluence. So, yeah, I like this weekly AVG, I like it. You can also pay attention, you also have this lower here, which coincides with this oil block, up close candle in a bullish market, you will expect up close candles to support price. This will be like, the place I don't want to see price going lower. I don't want to see price going low below closing below this candle right here. Can mark it out. This will be the invalidation of the of this bullish idea. So daily. Yeah, so I, I, I really like this weekly FBG, it's a 40 day key level, also this is the 60 day, so very clean. We can expect the oil block to be top, but obviously the preference, yeah, we can expect it, it's reasonable to expect it. But yeah, this is for Ethereum, honestly. Keep this closer. You can see we took these lows higher. And obviously you can trade this in two ways. So you can short it. You can short here on until we reach this. And then you can look for the long higher. So you have two trades here. And for the short, I will wait for next week, as in Bitcoin. For now, it looks we were rejecting from this candle right here. You can see very clean. Let's put it in maybe. I'm rejecting from it. And we haven't closed. We haven't closed above this candle, so it's also good. If we close above this candle, I will be concerning. Will be more bullish and not expecting these lower prices. However, we haven't. So I like the move lower. So yeah, this is the plan. Ethereum, similar to Bitcoin, right? Move down. Close the week. Open next month. Boom. Send it. Yeah, let's move Solana. So this, I like this, this extra confluence, Ethereum BTC. I like this move right here. Something like this. At least these highs, look at this, this, so yeah. 
root confluence. You look at Ethereum BTC to know what is going to perform better in the future. Therefore, what are you what what do you want to trade? Do you want to trade Bitcoin or Ethereum? And you can do this with every altcoin. However, I don't think it's necessary. I just like to do it with Ethereum. So you can do Solana Bitcoin, AVAX Bitcoin. But yeah, it's not necessary really. I used to do it in the past, but it's not really that useful. All right, so let's go for Solana. Let's make the chart bigger. I'm gonna try to keep it quicker now, but I hope you're liking it so far. I hope you're learning. And yeah. Yeah, so this low key. Let's see the monthly. You can see. Pretty key low. It was in January, so beginning of the year. Here you see how we touch the block, boom, send it. Mm. So Solana is interesting, honestly. There not as clean as I would like it to be. Have the range here. Range. Break out of it. Return to the point five of the range. Very common. Expand higher. So, actually, more interesting this one than this low. Now I like it more. And we have a daily FPG. Not much more, honestly. We don't have any weekly or anything. But this is clean. Take the low into the 50% of the price lag. Pay attention also to this key candle. Look at this beauty. Beautiful. So, yeah, honestly, this low is pretty important. Intermediate term low. Don't expect it to be taken. What I like to do with these lows, I, I mark them like this. So, expect it to be hold. Invalidation. Will be this the candle kind of that created the FBG for this trade? Yeah, looking higher. Obviously, it could drop lower than this. I don't know why I have a feeling that it could because Solana is quite volatile. And if it does, I will still be looking at this this order block. This will be like. A good chance for the for a long honestly if we got this it's a blessing <laughs> but yeah I like it we shall see right you have to check the correlations with Ethereum Bitcoin everything let's move on to a box so what's going on Bitcoin? We're, we're dropping. Good. 
here I was looking to take a trade but I miss it um, yeah AVAX I call it in the discord also I mentioned the short so mm -hmm. let's see All right, so it's always in this con and I like this this candle. I'm gonna put it so when it's not a thick candle, I don't like to use the open. I like to use from the wick to the open. Put it block. Let's put it in there. Quickly, OB. Now you also have this one, but this one is key because it's the one that we took below. Then we close above it. Get the move. Now return to it. Get higher. I would like that. Similar, right? Remember what we saw on the other charts? have the range we break out of it kind of back test it but it's reasonable now to expect this return digging well into the range to then continue higher like we've seen I believe it was Solano yeah Solano we saw it oh yeah this candle is key it's the it's the one we mark for all, as weekly order block. You can see it's also a daily order block, so even better. And we also have this daily RBG right at the same level. So can mark this. Pretty clean. I really like this long right here. And let me show you the short I was looking at because it was interesting. It seems kind of choppy, right? All this seems kind of choppy, but it wasn't that choppy if you go to the four hour. So we have this range, we have these lows which will be taken, and I'm looking. To short this, also it's quite going down now. But we have these lows to be taken. We can put it in red. And then what do we have? The one hour. It was thirty minutes. So I call this in the Discord. Had low, high break below the low that took the high we have uh, breaker that was the high get the move down now from the breaker Have this apple of scandal here. And the fair value gap. What I was looking at was this this scandal we close below, daily order block. Can see combining all together. We form this towards the key level again. Boom. Looking at this, fifty percent of the block. 
get a range, take the high. Now it's sending it lower. And a good short entry, which I'm gonna entertain when I finish this. It's gonna be this, this right here. I like this. I like this short stop and you can target the lows or even this overall so we shall see right let's see the four hour yeah I like it very clean pretty nice so yeah plan for AVAX Again, you can trade the, how to say it, the journey to the key level we want to trade, which will be shorting in this case, right? You're trading the move down to the key level, or you can trade the key level where you want to long. So here you have plans for everything. You, you can, you're not just here now waiting. You can actually trade, trade it. Litecoin, I'm not gonna do it because it's too, too simple, the chart. I'll, I'm gonna let it do it yourself. And I'm gonna do Rune, which I think it's more interesting. And I don't wanna spend too much. I think the video is gonna be quite long already, so. I don't want to make it too long. Let's do run right here. Like this. Did I touch it? It is very volatile, this one, so be careful with this one. Or weekly FBG. I already touch. 50% exactly, very clean. Mm. Alright, so you see here we have the range. Like, like before, look at this. The weekly FVG lining up with the range high. So it should get the move higher. Yeah, so this one is quite interesting. Hmm. We, got, we got a huge amount for this one. This move was... 166%. Insane. Um, Yeah, so the main thing I'm going to look for here Eliminate the weekly for this breaker. And then we also have the Lia BG in Confluence. And this all block. That's what I'll look for here. You know, it's quite low, but if we're expecting the move down in Bitcoin, it's reasonable to expect this low to be taken. Yeah, I like this. Quite a move down, I know, but makes sense. 
ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಎಫ್ ಬಿ ಜಿ ಅವಳ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಪರ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅವತ್ತು ಅವ್ರ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅನ್ಸಲಿ ಮೇ ಬಿ ವಿ ಕಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ವೀಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಯಾ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಬೈಯ ದೀಸ್ ಅ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ದ ಯುವರ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಫುಲ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ದ ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಯು ಬಿನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ ಸಿ ವೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಬೈ ಬೈ